Dear students, welcome to Accounting by ARD. Whenever there is any spending in the business, that spending is known as expenditure and that can be classified into two broad categories. One is capital expenditure and another one is revenue expenditure. Before moving on to learn what is a capital and revenue expenditure, let us discuss few of the examples of capital expenditure. Whenever we buy or construct a building for office use, this is known as capital expenditure or whether we are buying a motor vehicle or a motor bike for the business, these are also capital expenditure, any laptops, printer, office equipment or any office furniture, it is also a capital expenditure. Now what do all of these things have in common? Capital expenditure is any expenditure to buy a non-current asset. As you may be aware, any asset that has more than one year life is a non-current asset and it has a permanent nature. And any expenditure to upgrade or modify that asset so as to improve its performance or to reduce its running cost. For example, I am upgrading my PC, I am upgrading its memory or hard drive, this is a capital expenditure or maybe putting on a turbo engine in my vehicle, this is also a capital expenditure or maybe installing a CNG kit in my car so as to reduce its running costs or any cost to bring the asset for its intended use means the delivery cost of the non-current asset or maybe the legal costs relating to buying. The important thing is that these are all charged in a non as a non-current asset. As revenue expenditure means, revenue expenditure is any, any expenditure incurred to operate the business on day to day basis, means day to day running expenses such as rent, electricity, these are all revenue expenditure or any expenditure to maintain an existing asset. Uh, for example, if we are getting service or tuning for our motor vehicle, this is basically a revenue expenditure or any expenditure such as depreciation of the motor vehicle. The important thing to remember is that, that these expenses are charged in an income statement unlike capital expenditure which are always recorded in a statement of financial position but the revenue expenditure are always charged as an expense in an income statement. So I hope my dear students you are getting the differences between capital expenditure and revenue expenditure. Capital expenses are permanent in nature and which have an impact for more than one year a revenue expenditure are temporary in nature which will be utilized in one accounting period. Now let us know some of the examples for revenue expenditure. It can be wages and salaries that we are paying to our staff. This is basically a revenue expenditure. Then we have utility bills, whether electricity or heat and light or water bills that we are paying for our premises. These are known as revenue expenditure. Then the rental of the premises, whether factory or whether office, these are also revenue expenditure. Then the depreciation that is charged on a non-current asset, it is also part of revenue expenditure. Now what happens if a capital expenditure has been incorrectly classified as a revenue expenditure? For example, we bought a new motor vehicle which should have been charged as a non-current asset but instead we charge it in an expense as a motor expense. So if we have overstated our expenses, this would lead to understatement of our profits and the motor vehicle has also not yet been charged in the accounts therefore non-current asset will also be understated so both of them will be understated alternatively what happens if a revenue expenditure is being charged as a capital expenditure for example we fueled up our vehicle but instead of recording it as a motor expense we treat it as, as a motor vehicle so what happens our motor vehicle goes account goes up this is overstated because we did not charge the expense therefore our profit was also overstated so both of these are overstating now if you understood capital and revenue expenditure let's have a look at capital and revenue receipt a receipt is basically an inflow of the business 
whereas an expenditure was basically an outflow of the business. Now let us discuss what does a capital receipt means. Capital receipt means these are inflows of the business obviously because it is a receipt and they are of non-routine nature which means we will not expect these money to come in every day or every week and they are not part of day-to-day -day activities of the business because this is something other than day-to-day -day activities some example would be capital invested by owner if the owner has invested money into the business owner won't be investing into the business on daily or monthly basis this would be non-routine in nature if we have uh, got a loan from the bank again the loan is very non-routine transaction if we have sold some of the non-current asset these non-current asset won't be sold on a daily or weekly basis because we don't want to sell our assets because these are of use in the business and these are recorded in a statement of financial position that is a balance sheet now after capital receipt let us look at a revenue receipt a revenue receipt are also inflows of the business but they are of routine nature means a recurring nature which is part of day-to-day -day activities of the business this means we will be uh, getting these again and again let us look at some of the examples to understand it more revenue from sale of goods and services whenever we are selling goods or services to our customers the revenue that flows in is a revenue receipt in nature then any income such as rent received, commission received or discount received these are also revenue received because these are the incomes that come into the business more often these are day to day in nature so I hope my dear students you were able to understand the differences between revenue and capital expenditure and revenue and capital receipt if you did do subscribe my channel for future videos thank you